Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. We're going to be doing a little bit of uh, playing here today. I've actually mostly been focused on Wildstar at the moment because a couple days ago it was announced that uh, it's going to be closing down, so I've been hard at work at this, but uh, this is my other active MMO at the moment, so I wanted to make sure to get some of this done as well. I actually have no idea where I'm going at the moment, that's kind of bad. Uh, I'm pretty tired at the moment. Um, right now it's Sunday, heading towards Monday. I tend to work uh, 6.30 in the morning shifts on Sunday. So I am kind of uh, a little bit drowsy at the moment. Hopefully this uh, loading screen won't take too long. Yeah, I think a Wildstar was one of the ones I said in my last uh, channel video that I think I said I would do this here, and uh, it kind of wasn't looking like I was going to end up doing it, but uh, apparently I am. And I'm kind of break. I, I sort of had this rule for this channel that every playthrough would have commentary. But considering I have no idea how long it's going to be until Wildstar shuts down, I'm going. I'm doing a no commentary run on it because I can push videos out really, really quickly when I'm not doing commentary. And uh, at that point, it's kind of like when I do commentary on these videos, I usually have to wait until it's night, so it's not burning hot with everything off. Because I usually have a fan behind me when I'm at my computer. That's usually why I end up doing these in like a couple hour bunches at night. And I hadn't played this in a couple of days. I just I just got done with uh, Hawkeye Manor, I remember that. We're gonna go see the guy about what happens after that right here. You are returned. What sights await you within the manor? What has become of Lady Am Amadine? You must tell me all. So she went so far as to consort with devils. With that, what that I could have done more to prevent her fall? May she finally find peace in the beyond. Know not whether the massmen you encounter are the same pair that first led my lady astray, but it's plain that they are from the same vile blood brood. Should the chance ever present itself, promise in me that you will visit upon them tenfold the woe that they brought upon others. But who am I to speak of punishment? By my silence, I allowed... I know not how many innocent young women to die in unspeakable circumstances. It matters not, wherefore, through misplaced loyalty, cowardice, or both, I met better to a gross crime. I will surrender myself to the authorities, except whatever punishment they deem just. I only pray that the gods will have mercy on my soul. Well, I guess that's it for him. Which I guess that's good for him. He's gonna fess up to what he's did. And we have to go back to Minfili now, so we have to go all the way to Horizon, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm kind of curious to see where the story goes from here. This wasn't a very long chapter, but I guess it was just a setup. It was kind of a setup for the dungeon, really. Because we didn't really learn too much about the Masked Men. We know that they've been watching us and wanted to see how well we could fight and all that. They didn't do, do, actually do anything to us this time. There wasn't any summon fights or anything like that. I probably could just get my Chocobo out, I wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> I probably should get my Griffin out at some point. I, that one apparently can fly, but I kind of wanted to wait on that one. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely am more six or more levels above that uh, fate there. <laughs>
I for I am so out of it at the moment. Um, yeah, this is the way we go. Enter the Waking Sands. Righto. You have anything new to say, Fan Creed? Okay, yeah, he's saying the same thing still. I'm curious if that's gonna come into uh, effect here at some point. Welcome back, Naren. Full glad am I to see you safely return. Tell me, how fared you on your soldier run to the Twelves Wood? Well, I went to the Haunted Mansion experience. Two of Vibrod's minions, and they sought to measure your strength by their own admission. The Devil's taught us it is beyond doubt, then. The Asylians have begun to move in earnest. Would that we knew to what end. Yet I will not be up bemoan our plight. Thanks to your tireless efforts, we are at least aware of the encroaching darkness. Unless we can only do so much, it is clear to me now this, that we signs are too few to protect the realm against this threat unedited. We must needs alert the three nations to the presence of this elusive enemy. I recommend that they heighten their vigil. There's no shortage of misery in the world they, as, as she sh Isaians might exploit. We have an arduous struggle ahead of us. Yet come what may, we may not allow ourselves to become lost to hope. For that is priceless what the enemy desires. We've gleaned all we can from the information available to us. Let us set this investigation aside for the present. Another matter has arisen that requires your attention. Let me know when you're ready to be brief and I'll summon the others. Alright. So either one, this one or this one, I think. Probably that's probably the tank option right there. Okay, um... Alright, I got a card there. I got a lot of, like, random stuff, to be honest. Probably should start sorting that out a bit more. Ah, there we go. Alright. Okay. Oh, we finally got something that's new. I was wondering when we were going to start getting uh, better equipment here, because I've had the same equipment for a while now. The Maelstrom requests our assistance. Concerning the kobolds they sent such copious notes on, I presume? Yes. And no, it has more to do with their findings, which portend a peril far greater than any beast tribe. What sort of peril? The worst kind. A tribe of kobolds in the vicinity of Limsa Lominsa has reawakened Titan. Our task will be to slay the primal. The Maelstrom have sworn support for the endeavor. They are no strangers to the havoc kobolds can wreak. Years before the Grand Company's reformation, Two primals, Leviathan and Titan, chanced to converge upon the sea wall, wreaking untold devastation. There, 
By the grace of the Navigator, were the mercenaries Melvip hired able to fend them off. Yet it did not take long for the beast tribes to regroup, and they summoned their primals once more. Thankfully, their second coming was decidedly short-lived, but that is beside the point. So long as tormented souls will them to exist, the realm will never be rid of primals. The Maelstrom has kept a watchful eye upon the beast tribes, and the kobolds in particular, ever since. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Unlike Ifrit, we know scarcely anything of Titan. Unfortunately, the only force known to have bested him, the modestly named Company of Heroes, disbanded five years since, and mercenaries are not in the habit of keeping chronicles. Expect the worst. The Maelstrom's help is of course appreciated, but even if we had their whole armada at our disposal, we could still find ourselves overmatched. A pity the Kobolds lack the gentle sensibilities of the Sylphs. A peaceful resolution would be more than welcome. The Echo will not avail you this time, I fear. If you are to survive, your steel must needs speak for you. No one would think you a coward were you to decline. So you will accept? Thank you. We can't very well send her to Limsa Lominsa without Yastola, can we, Minfilia? May I ask that of you, Yastola? I never thought it in question. Ever reliable. Very well. We will spare no effort to win victory. You may count on the full support of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And all not a field will aid the fight from afar. Sancred, Ida, go to the Grand Companies. Tell them of our plight and solicit their support. Ariange, send word to the students of Baldessian and Alfino if you would. Papalimo, compile all the information we have on Titan, little though it may be. You will be apprised of the tactical situation when you reach the Sailor's Ward. Provision yourself for the journey. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Alright. It's been a while since we had a voiced uh, cutscene there. Alright, I think we have to talk to somebody in here first before we leave. At least I assume so, that's what it was like last time. that way, I guess. Don't quite remember. Let me get my armor mended. There we go. I don't even have crafting material, I have to say. I don't really need anything in here, so actually, I guess it doesn't. I guess I'm not supposed to talk to somebody in here. I thought I was supposed to, but eh. Not going that way.
kind of curious, do I have any more uh, titles? Just not thought about that, because I haven't, uh... Uh, I guess I have a couple here, but none of them are actually really all that great, to be honest. Or at least none of them stand out like I expect. Um... Am I able to just take a ship here? That'd be pretty great, to be honest. Do I have any deliveries? Okay. Well, I guess I'm supposed to... Okay, I have to go to Rystrom Command. Alright, we made it. Okay, I think we... yeah, okay. Gotta get to the upper decks. I guess soon we're gonna be losing our summer outfit, cause uh... Once I get a new armor set, I'm gonna be replacing that, and since these... Since this game has it has their costume styles uh, directly adapted onto the arbor in question, once I get a new set, it's going to be gone. I can still glamour it again if I want to, because I still have it in my at my in room, but don't really have a reason to. Because the next event, uh, I think I think for Halloween, is going to give me another costume. So where am I going? I start talking and I lose all direction right now. I really should learn this area a bit better, since it is my company. Wow, I must have gone the wrong way here, because it usually doesn't take this long, I don't think. I think I spawn in usually from this other side. Oh, that's a level 30 quest? Huh. I didn't realize that, to be honest. Since, like, um... I remember the... Hawkeye Manor was like a level 28, or at most level 29, I assume. Cyan sent word that you were on your way. To business, then, as we told the Etisenet, Kobolds have once again summoned Titan. A little over a moon ago, we began to observe the beastmen moving south, increasing numbers from Ogumaru. Our scouts have subsequently confirmed the object of their aggression. Crystals fodder for their fell primal. The 
Thank you, High Commander. You may leave the rest to me. Your deeds bring glory to the Maelstrom, Private Scorched Us. Right proud am I to call you one of our own. Forgive the lack of forewarning, High Commander. The Ad Admiral wishes to speak address Narn personally. We are no strangers to conflict. Long have the Sa Sahagin and the Kobolds plagued our people. Nor is this the first time we had to address a primal threat. In the past, when Titan rose to threaten the peace, it was the company of heroes returned. They are long disbanded, and we must look to other brave souls blessed with the strength to face this foe. So is that we now turn to the signs of the Seventh Dawn, confident in your belief that you are Linza's best hope. Hope you're right, yet this yet the situation is far from simple. Kobolds are not prone to unprovoked aggression. Did not the Thalas Kratzi make a pact with the beastmen that each would help would keep to their own lands and that no blood would be shed? And was it not the Limonzens who violated that disagreement, dissatisfied with their lot? Shall we then commend the beastmen for defending their homes? Even a pirate must one day reap what she has sown. I would advise you to choose your words with greater care, Lady Estola. Stand down, High Commander. She has the right of it. And the wrong is mine. Freely do I claim it. It makes little difference. Remorse will not shield us from the Titan's wrath. Would you have us all fall apart on our swords? My apologies, Amaral. The safety and security of Limza Limonza's sinistry is, are, of course, the paramount concern. Already we have observed disruptions in the flow of either further inland. The effects will be felt here in the city ere long. As much of you, I know, but the deed is great. I trust I can count on you, Private. Yet my thanks, along with the full support of the Maelstrom. I await good tidings. The Kobolds should summon Titan as demonstrates they are no longer amenable to negotiation. This being the case, we, mu we must needs prepare for conflict. Before we meet Titan in the field, however, it would be wise to learn all we can of our foe. I can think of no, no better source of information than the mercenaries who defeated him once before. The company of heroes may be no more, but several of its former members still live. So that one of them is employed at the Grey Fleet Mills in Lower Lanosia. Quite why a mercenary should choose to become a miller, I do not know. When you find him, mayhap yet, you can ask him for me. I, meanwhile, shall seek his fellows. Well, I mean, he retired from the mercenary business, so you gotta do some, some sort of work. So let me see, where are we heading? Okay, so we have to head for the lower area again. Okay, that's not to it. Down this way then? Oh, I'm way off path. What am I even doing? <laughs> yeah, I have to make sure to make sure to look at this map closely sometimes, because in areas like the, the cities, you can get very turned around easily like that. Because the markers are like right on top of each other. Okay, we've got a bit of a ways to go here, I guess. We haven't really been out this way, uh, I think, for the most part. I think maybe we went been out this way once when we had to help those two uh, engineers, maybe. So I'll just go ahead and walk through this area. It's a starting level area from how it looks. River Toad.
I guess this town up ahead is where we're heading. Or I think actually it's supposed to be a mill, right? I wonder if there's a... either right here. Let me see, it should show up on the map if there is one here. No, I'm not seeing one here, huh. Apparently this isn't the area either, from how it looks. No, we still have to go further, huh. Okay. see the level jump already. We're almost at level 10 mobs. <laughs> it's the further we head this way, the stronger they're going to become. No music right here. I just hear the sound of the, uh... The windmills. Huh. Oh, looks like we're here. Ah, here we are. Lay down your burden, son. Come drain a pint with me. We'll have a grand old time. Find ye a last or three. You gonna say something, Venture, or just keep staring? Eh, you wanna know about the Company of Heroes? Ah, hells. Price of bleeding fame. Can't a Miller, Miller Mill in peace no more? Still, sting as you come all this way, I suppose it won't hurt to oblige ye. Consider yourself lucky, lass. Old Truck Tom was the Company's best axe man. Now, what is it you wanted to know? We'll go ahead and get that. I guess I'll wait until I have a full set to... Okay, they're giving me a sword, but it's not actually any better than what I have at the moment. <laughs> so you want to hear the tale of how the Company of Heroes bested a primal, do you? I guess you mean that bastard Titus, eh? Oh, if only you'd been there to see it. It was a mighty struggle, like the legends of old. Me and the boys fought him for three days and nights we did. Round trouble with every te step Titus took, and when he hit ye, girl, it felt like a cannonball to the gut. Ugh, just like that. What's that look for? I'm a god's damn hero, I'll have you know. People around here sing me praises. Don't tell me you're only caring about learning the secret taxes that we used to beat old Titus. Huh, well, too bad, because now I'm not feeling feel terrible. If you're so damn desperate, why don't you do me a favor and kill those rats that have made a nest by the windmill just south of here? Hey, do that, and then we'll talk. Alright. There's also a quest out here I think we could probably take. It's the only other quest around. Breathtaking, is it not? Proud sails turning, rugged gears churning, the will never stops, and ne neither can the millers assign it to its upkeep. Vigilance is the key. By adjusting tomorrow's issues today, we assure the wheels of prosperity continue to grind. Unfortunately, I have my hands full at the work of the day. I cannot leave my station and tend to inspection. I will entrust this duty to you. Seek out the other three millers, heed their concerns, or praise what's there of your findings. Alright, well, we have a couple things to do here. Oh, wow, that was actually a really, uh, <laughs> a low-level quest there, but, I mean, it was only one around, so... I think I'd go ahead and do it. 